Hello artists! Today we're talking about art that is three-dimensional, or as we like to say for short, 3D. Before we went on spring break, we were making 3D art out of clay. Today we're going to talk about how to make drawings that look three-dimensional. So we're going to start by looking at some three-dimensional shapes. First, I have a few examples. Okay, Let's see if our ball here doesn't roll away. This example right here is what's called a rectangular prism. And it might sound familiar. You may have talked about rectangular prisms in math. They are six-sided shape where all sides are rectangles. Okay, rectangle on the front, rectangle on the sides, rectangle on the top rectangle on the bottom. That's the rectangular prism. Here we have a cone. It looks just like the cone you would eat ice cream out of. It's a triangle shape from the side and a circle on the bottom. This shape right here, this can of sweet corn, is a cylinder. Cylinders are tall and straight on the sides, circles on the top and the bottom. The last shape we have here is what's called a sphere, and spheres are three-dimensional circles. They're round all the way around. The thing that makes three-dimensional shapes three-dimensional is that they're solid. You can actually pick them up and hold them in your hand. They're not just flat. When you look at shapes that are three-dimensional, you will notice that they have um, a light side and a dark side. Right now, the desk that I'm working at is right in front of a window. So there's a lot of light coming from over here and you can see how it shines on one side of the shape. This side of the sphere is lighter. This back side of the sphere, if it doesn't roll away, is where the shadow is. You can see the same on my cylinder here. There's a light side on this side. On the back side, we have shadow. My cone is lighter on this side, darker on this back side here. And the rectangular prism is actually really easy to tell on this one side here. The red is actually brighter and lighter because the light is shining on it in that direction. This side looks darker and the shadow is falling back behind my rectangular prism. It's on the opposite side from where the window is. The window's over here. That means the shadow falls back here. When you're drawing three-dimensional shapes, you have to keep those very same concepts in mind. So imagine if I was going to draw a rectangular prism, I would have to first decide which direction my light is shining on. Okay, so here's my little flashlight. If my flashlight is shining on this side of my rectangular prism, then the shadow will go on the back side, if it's shining from above, the shadow is below. If it's shining over here, the shadow goes on that side. Okay, so let's draw our rectangular prism. One rectangle on the front. Here, for comparison, you can see one side over here. And it's not a perfect rectangle because you can only see a little bit of it. The rest is slanting back into space. So I'm going to draw two slanting lines connected with a straight line. Well, straight-ish. And then I'm going to draw my shadow. Shade lightly with my pencil up on the top side. Shade lightly with my pencil on the back side. If you really wanted to get technical about it, you could do even some really light shading on this side right here, because when I look at my example, my block, this front side is a little bit darker than the right side over here, okay? Next, I'm gonna draw my cone. We said that the bottom of the cone is a circle, so when you draw the bottom of your cone shape, you're gonna use a curved line. The top side is pointed like a triangle. Here's my cone, okay? 
I might decide that for this example, my light's gonna shine from a different direction. So maybe on my cone this time, the light side is over here on the left. I would do some shading on the side that's opposite my flashlight. And I would have a little bit of shadow, even darker, here behind my cone. Okay. Cylinders. Cylinders are circles on the top and the bottom. The sides are straight up and down. So when you look at it from the side, you see that the, the top is round. You don't see the whole circle because the side we're mainly focusing on is the front side here. So I'm gonna draw two sides straight down and a curve that's parallel to the top here at the bottom. See how the top curve curves down like a smile. My bottom curve has to curve down like a smile also. Then if my light was shining from up above, this top side, the circle shaped face, is going to be lightest. My shadow is gonna be down here at the bottom following the curve on the bottom of my cylinder. And then I might have some even darker shadows underneath. All right, last we have the sphere. Now since the entire sphere is circle, the best you can do when drawing a sphere is drawing a circle. And the way we make it look three-dimensional is by adding that shading. So on this ball, when the flashlight shines, oh, there we go, now it's working, shines on the left side, then that means the right side is the dark side. Leaving this area light, we shade following the curve around the opposite side of the sphere. And then the shadow would fall behind. Now you've just learned how to draw four shapes three-dimensionally. I don't have an example of a cube with me here today, but I wanted to talk to you really quickly about how you would draw a three-dimensional cube. It's a lot like the rectangular prism, but instead of using a rectangle shaped side, you would use a square. So remember on a square, there's four sides. They're all the same length or as close to it as you can possibly draw. And then you're gonna draw two other sides that you can see. You might be able to see the top side. You might be able to see the left side. So you're gonna draw a diagonal line coming off of three corners, and then you're going to connect them using another straight line. Your cube could go a few different ways. Maybe you're seeing the top and the right side of your cube. Maybe you're seeing the bottom and the left side of your cube. Wherever you draw these diagonal lines is where you see the other sides of your cube. And then you just have to imagine that your light, your flashlight is shining on one side of the cube. There's my little flashlight. This front side would be the lightest side. The side that's pointing away from the flashlight would be the darkest side. And then my shadow would be here behind it. All right, folks, now I'd like for you to practice drawing some three-dimensional shapes on your own. All you need, pencil, paper, and a good attitude. Thanks, guys.